Here it is, Avengers. Wouldn't that be so cool if it takes place in the Spider-Man universe that Insomniac made? Avengers Day. All in-game footage. <laughs> wow. Looks good. Thor, Tony, check it out. At once. We're trying to keep up. Dang. It's just got a whole lot more interesting. Don't make me angry. This is cool. I'd like to see him transform, though. Wow. This game's gonna sell. This game's gonna sell a lot. Is that a joke? Did Thor make a joke? Cat, they got pulse Ooh, and you get to switch between them? <laughs> San Francisco's got that big of buildings, though. Cap, what's going on over there? Do they? I don't like Cap's design. His gameplay looks good, though. Is that Scarlett Johansson's voice? They definitely look like they're inspired by the MCU characters, but like they differ enough. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Is that Troy Parker? Cap's dead. But that's not how this story ends. Yeah. This looks pretty good. I hope they focus a lot on story. Because I hate superhero games that don't focus on story. What are we waiting for? Nice. Nice. Please welcome Sean Eskai, Creative Director, Crystal Dynamics, and Bill Roseman, Vice President and Creative Director, Marvel Games. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Nobody's cheering. Love Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you everyone. <laughs> we are incredibly excited to reveal Marvel's Avengers to the world. I'm glad they're taking it though. I don't think any other studio in Square would have been able to really handle Marvel it. Marvel began collaborating on an original Avengers game. One that combined epic action adventure with cinematic storytelling. A game where we as players can experience in both single player and co-op what it's like to be Earth's Ooh. mightiest heroes. Co-op? Are you co-op? Do I have any true believers in the house? <clears throat> yes! Awesome. Because you will instantly recognize your favorite superheroes and villains, but you'll also see that they're unique to this game, as this is Crystal's interpretation of these iconic characters. It'd be really cool to see it Our be... Our story begins at a day. As San Francisco celebrates uh, the opening of the like Avengers West universe. Coast headquarters. I doubt that's going to happen. And the team's though. custom helicarrier, outfitted with a strange experimental energy source. However, the day turns deadly when an attempt to steal this new technology 
results in massive destruction. Blamed for the tragedy, the Avengers are outlawed and our heroes disband. Five years you know, later, a horrific evil threatens the world. In Spider-Man, he did say that they were on the West Coast. Earth's mightiest heroes. You'll play as your favorite Avengers and it takes place in, in San Francisco. An new original story showcasing authentic Marvel heroism and humanity. It's about losing what matters to you most and fighting to get it back. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Most importantly, this is a story about self-acceptance in the face of adversity, about embracing our individual powers and learning that together we are mighty. <laughs> You'll lead the team as a legendary super soldier, Captain America. Nice. You'll call down the lightning as the Asgardian god of thunder, Thor. Nice. You'll channel the anger of scientist Bruce Banner by unleashing the Hulk. <laughs> You'll gather intel and strike swiftly as the ultimate tactical spy, Black Widow. Nice. I'm glad they made her a playable character. And finally, like to see other you'll female blast characters. through the sky as a charismatic Tony Stark. <laughs> known to the wider world as the Armored Iron Man. To bring this incredible story to life, we've assembled an all-star cast. I'll let them introduce themselves. I think Troy Baker is what I meant to say, not Barker. Yeah, see? Ha <laughs> ha! Called it. So, here we are. Avengers assembled. Who are you and people no again? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Troy Baker, and I play Bruce Banner. Hi, I'm Jeff Shine, and I play Captain America. Hi, I'm Travis Willingham, and I play Thor. Hi, I'm Laura Bailey, and I'm playing Black Widow. Laura Bailey. Hi, I'm Nolan North, and I play Tony Stark. There's certain characters I don't think you ever have to be uh, talked into. Yeah. You know, so we'd like to have you play Tony Stark Iron Man. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody always portrays him as this super confident character. And I think it, it's a mask for, for him. I think he's a, one of the most vulnerable guys. I think Bruce is just such a cool character. A lot of people are, are really quick to, to bring out the big green. But I think that, that Bruce is a super complex character. It's fun, and I've never played him before. What is very relatable about Natasha is she's extremely capable, but she's at the core. Or it sounds she's like human. She's what? surrounded by uh, all of this Scarlett Johansson larger than life play. stuff, and she has to step up to it. I, I feel like Thor got really interesting in the last like 10 or 15 years. From For me, I, I like where he's kind of landed in the, the public eye, you know? One of the things I think is cool about Cap is I never feel like he uh, he necessarily wants to be a leader. He accepts that he is. I feel like sometimes the best leaders are the ones who don't necessarily want to be, but they're right for the job. Having an original story to tell as Cap well. Cap wants to be a leader. Uh, what they've done at Crystal Dynamics is great, so I think everybody's going to be pretty stoked. The Avengers are at their best when they are all together, but the chemistry is <laughs> do not shake. <laughs> Thanks, Quite everybody, for joining us. Can't wait for you to be able to play the game. But right now, you don't have to wait for some exclusive content. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. Now I can hear it. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check it was a science? heist. Bruce, no. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <laughs> and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. No, we failed him. We failed him. 
please welcome like the, Scott Amos, head of studio, and Megan Marie, senior community mm. and social media manager, Wasn't enough. Crystal Dynamics. But it looks like it's going to be heavy, heavily story based, and I like that. In order to tell a good adventure story, you have to have a good story, obviously. Hello, E3. <laughs> you've just <laughs> you've just seen a high level view of the cinematic and character-driven campaign of Marvel's Avengers. Mm -hmm. But launch is only the beginning yeah. of this adventure. Marvel's Avengers delivers a narrative over multiple years with exciting new that? content released wearing? at a regular basis. Like the Avengers, you and your friends are stronger together. It's like a coat. You'll assemble into teams of up not. to four players online. Ooh. Nice. Where you can Excellent. master extraordinary abilities, where you can customize a growing roster of heroes and defend the Earth from ever-escalating threats. What's going to happen when everybody wants to be oh, yes. Iron Man oh, yes. or Thor? And or to make Hulk. sure everyone comes on this journey with us, we're incredibly thrilled to announce that every new superhero and every new region will be delivered at no additional cost. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Good. So our but you'll have to buy special Marvel coins. Won't have random loot boxes or pay-to-win scenarios. Yeah. Good old classic gaming. I love it. This game represents a collaboration across Crystal Dynamics. <laughs> Hold for applause. Marvel Games. I know you're out here. <laughs> Idos Montreal. These guys are here. Marvel Games. Nixie Software. Maybe Insomniac. Our new Crystal Northwest studio. Oh. And everyone at Square Enix. So our game is about embracing your powers and living your superhero dreams. We have an exclusive gameplay demo in our booth Ooh. that will show you more of the core okay. campaign, okay. its original story, and our superheroes in action. And how it's connected to Spider-Man. So Marvel's Avengers will release worldwide on PS4, Xbox One, nice. Stadia, and mm. PC. And PC, okay. We got you covered. <laughs> and we're excited to be partnering with PlayStation to bring some awesome surprises to the PlayStation audience. Mm. Right. Including early beta access <gasps> and unique benefits that we'll be revealing in the future. But before we go, we have one final glimpse into our world, including when you'll get to play this game. Ooh. Okay, yeah. This is what's next for the Avengers. Thank you, true believers. Damn it. Progress, Hank. I have a plan, but it's risky. Hank? That doesn't look ready. Come on, Tony, live a little. Oh, is that Hank Pym? Yep, Hank Pym. Unbelievable. It worked. So Ant-Man's going to be in this, the original Ant-Man, not the Sort of cute when they're small. Ah, I didn't doubt you for a second, Hank. Again, 2020. A lot of shit's coming out in 2020. Dang! Well, that's Avengers. Wow. They announced a lot this year. A lot. Let's go back. Tetsuya, come out and say, hey, after E3, you guys at home can play Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy IX music. Well, that's it. That was the Square E3 conference. Dang! I thought it was never gonna happen! They kept their skirt! Their boobs look nice too. Oh wow.
looks like it's taking the tactics route. Of the game, but tactical mode never gets old for me. Oh my god, that looks sick!